Hey, what's going on guys? This is MBDC back with another tutorial for you guys here today. If you haven't checked out my other Final Cut Pro tutorials, check those out. Just continuing in this series. So today we're gonna be talking about how to import and use your custom LUTs inside of Final Cut Pro. And if you guys haven't seen it already, Apple's dropping Final Cut Pro free for 90 days. So this is your chance to check that out. So do not miss that. And check out my tutorials to see some of the more basic features of Final Cut Pro. So you can just kind of jump right in and get your feet wet. But yeah, let's just jump right into the video here. So starting off, once you get into your MacBook, whatever LUT you use, whether you make one or download one, uh, buy one from store or whatever any kind of custom that you want to use you want to get it into Final Cut Pro to put on your footage So you download it just download it to the desktop. I got this one here for HLG B 2020 That's the picture profile that I use in my Sony a7 III. So I got it right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Final Cut Pro All right guys, so we got our footage our timeline created all that sweet stuff so i'm just going to drop this into the timeline all right guys so if you see here just footage uh nothing special it's a little b-roll i have for my last sammy and versus tamron video so nothing special just a clip but let's say i want to quickly color grade it. let's say i don't want to spend too much time color grading it that's what luts are for right but you want to figure out how to get your custom LUT or the LUT you bought or downloaded or anything like that you want to figure out how to get that LUT onto this footage so super simple, super easy. We're gonna keep this short and sweet. So what you wanna do is open up the effects tab. So you got all your effects here. What you wanna do is go to color. Final Cut Pro makes it super easy. So you wanna go into the color tab. So in the color tab, you see you got all these different effects, black and white, color curves, color eyes, HDR tools. And right here, we have custom LUT. So you're gonna do is take that, drag it onto your clip. It's now dragged onto your clip. And you know, once you drag anything onto your clip in Final Cut Pro, it's gonna open up in the inspector window. As long as you're on the video editing tab, not the color or the sound, but on the video to manipulate the video effects, you see custom LUT's gonna pop up here. But are you done? No. So what you wanna do is go to LUT, see how it says none here. You wanna do that drop down window, I already have them kind of preloaded in here. But you wanna do is you wanna go choose custom LUT gonna pop up. I usually put them in my movie tabs, but for the sake of this tutorial, it's on the desktop. So you got a desktop, boom. You got this so you can download the whole folder. You wanna leave the color space alone, just leave it at the Rec 709. Just leave it at whatever whatever color space the LUT was built into, just leave it there. And then you wanna hit open. I already, already have it open, so I don't need to reopen it. But, but you wanna go ahead and hit open, and that's gonna make the LUT good. It's in there. And then you just apply the LUT. And then you can drag how much of it or how little of it do you want inside your footage. And this is not a full color grading tutorial. It's just how to drop a custom LED on your footage. So we're not gonna color grade the footage or anything like that. But once you select what LED you want, you can have as little or much of it as you want here. And you can see LUT, no LUT, LUT, no LUT. And if you have different LUTs, you can drop those too. And then you go LUT, no LUT. And so you know how the footage has a LUT on it, has a look. And if you turn that LUT off, that's what it looks like. Turn it back on and you have your custom LUT. So super simple, super easy. Like I said, Final Cut Pro makes it so easy to drop a custom LUT into your timeline and on your footage. No haggle, no hassle, no download, no extra software or third party installer or anything crazy like that. Simply inside of Final Cut Pro. So all you gotta do again is go to the effects tab, color, drop that custom LUT on the timeline, make sure it pops up in the inspector window, wherever you save that LUT, if it's on the desktop or uh, I usually put mine in the movies tab or anything like that, you're gonna go ahead and select it from there when you go to choose custom LUT and you select it and boom, it is applied and you now have a LUT on your video. Super simple, super easy. Like I said, just want to do a quick tutorial for you guys here. Nothing crazy. I'll keep doing these periodically, but if you guys like these, drop a comment down below. A lot goes into making these videos, so that will definitely help. I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. This is MBDC. Peace.